Welcome to the Blue Ball Mennonite Church and our Thursday night singing. I uh, want to welcome everyone that's uh, listening on the live stream and those that are here and those that are listening in on the phone lines. And a special welcome to those in nursing homes. Uh, we know how difficult it's been, you know, for the visitors to get in nursing homes. And we just hope you'll be blessed by this night of singing we have for you here. I want to also uh, welcome those who will view this uh, program later around the world, and I hope you'll be blessed by that. Our goal is to spread the gospel of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ around the globe. And uh, tonight we have a special talented family here. They've been here before and we asked them to come back and they agreed and we're blessed to have them here tonight. And I'm sure you will be blessed listening to them. Uh, they are a wonderfully talented Christian family and they're here to share tonight in song and uh, I will give the time over to them at this time. God bless. All right, thank you. We are the Lloyd family, and uh, we thought it'd be a blessing if we would just introduce ourselves at the beginning so you can maybe put a name to these faces. So I'm Dad, Papa, Paul's my name. I'm Laura, my mama. And we're gonna introduce ourselves in the order of age as well. I'm Sarah Grace. I'm Elizabeth. I'm Elijah. I'm Andrew. And I'm Faith. My name is Rachel. I'm Ernest. I'm Michaela. I'm Jonathan. I'm Joshua. All right. Thank you. Okay. Well, tonight we're going to have a program that is um, titled, What a Savior. And um, this is uh, taken from one of the songs in our program. But uh, we have a great Savior, Jesus Christ. And we want to lift him up here tonight. Um, we don't have, uh, we have about 13 songs, I think it is, or 14. They're not just random songs that we're going to sing, but they all kind of tie together to give a message about our great Savior, Jesus. And when I say, what a Savior, I'm referring to, yes, what he did 2,000 years ago on the cross, but more specifically tonight, when we're talking about what a Savior, we're really focusing in on what he does today, what he does in our life, how he's our Savior day by day and uh, how he works by his Holy Spirit in our lives. And a lot of our songs talk about that. So uh, our first song is called Holy Ground. It talks about how we're standing on holy ground. What makes ground holy? It's when God is there. You know, when Moses looked at that burning bush on the hillside there, that was, that was just a regular hillside. There was nothing special about it except for one thing, that God himself was there in that burning bush. And God said, take off the shoes off your feet because this is holy ground. And so uh, tonight, by faith, we want to introduce this program just by singing that, declaring that this here is holy ground tonight because God is here. You know, David said back even in the Old Testament, he said, I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not be moved. Elijah said, uh, talked about the God before whom I stand. These people, even in the Old Testament, they saw and by faith that God was there, present in their life. He was at his right hand. David said, I set him at his right hand. Well, how did he do that? He did that by faith. Mm -hmm. And uh, because he did that, he said, I shall not be moved. So tonight, that's how we begin our program. And... Uh, with that song, we are standing on holy ground. This is holy ground. We're standing on holy ground. For the Lord is present. Standing. 
sinners to reclaim. Hallelujah, what a Savior. This is where we get the title of our program tonight, What a Savior. And everything that we sing about tonight, all of the, the working of the Holy Spirit in our life to guide and lead, to take us through the trials of life, everything comes right back to what he did 2,000 years ago on the cross. And so we're going to start out by singing that song, that old favorite hymn, What a Savior.
Jesus, as Isaiah foretold, was a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief and was in all points tempted like we are, yet without sin. We know that he experienced the same kinds of things that we do. He experienced being forsaken, abandoned, and alone. He told his disciples, you will leave me alone, yet I am not alone, for the Father is with me. And in our lonely moments, we also can take comfort in the fact that our Father is with us. We are not alone. We are not alone. We are not alone. God is with us. We are not alone. We are not alone. We are not alone. God is with us. We Jesus left that brightness and he came to earth to experience all the things that, that we feel and suffer. And he's a trustworthy guide. He's with us. We're not alone. And God has left us his Holy Spirit to live inside of us and allow us the opportunity to live like Jesus lived by his power. And this next song encourages us in the blessings of following his voice. He's our guide. Hark, tis the master, he's calling you today. Follow where his voice is guiding. Look for his footprints along the heavenward way. Follow where his voice is guiding. Send your soul relief. Follow, follow where his voice is guiding. Follow, follow where his voice is guiding. Follow where his voice is guiding. Follow, 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 on. New fields of blessing will open to your view. Follow where his voice is guiding. Seeking his spirit, your daily strength renew. Follow where his voice is 
changed. The rain became a delightful kind of thing, and she pictured herself walking down the path with her father in the rain together. And sometimes the mist was so thick she couldn't see him, but he was still there with her. His presence turned it into something to savor, to cherish, because he was with her. And may the presence of Jesus turn our puzzling things, difficult seasons, in your life into something to cherish. While the wind my hair is blowing and the rain runs down my face, I can feel his special closeness taking courage in his grace. And a purpose when the feelings start to glide away. I'll remember how he's been so faithful day by day. Oh, my Lord is faithful, that's my song in the rain. And I'm confident my soul shall see his goodness once again. The realities that I can see abide unchanged the same. So I'll wholly trust the truth and treasure Jesus' name. Even now, while it is raining and the path is misty white, I am lifting up my dripping chin and laughing in the night. Even though I cannot see him, he is with me in the rain. And he'll fill my heart with courage till I see the sun again. Oh, my Lord is faithful, that's my song in the rain. And I'm confident my soul shall see his goodness once again. The realities that I can see abide and change the same. So I'll wholly trust the truth and treasure Jesus' name. He is with me in the rain. He is with me in the rain. He is with me in the
this next song, also written by my sister Hannah, uh, was written during a time when she was thinking about getting married. She realized there was not a lot she could do about it and about bringing her cherished dream to pass and that she could end up in heartache. But she had the faith to believe and declare that it's okay to trust the Lord and see what he will do. He might do plan A or he could leave plan B or maybe there's a plan I don't see. She chose to trust that God is good, he will do something, and it will be good. Not being cynical or waiting in gloom or demanding a certain outcome, but waiting expectantly to see what he will do. And just so you know, my sister Hannah um, is now married, so she's not here with us. That's why I'm telling the story for her. <laughs> and um, this, I think, is the first time we've sang this in a program. It's okay to trust the Lord and see what He will do. It's okay to trust the Lord for He will lead you through. Sometimes I begin to wonder if He knows what's best. But I found that I can trust Him and He gives me rest. Sometimes I begin to doubt His tender loving care, but He always leads me out and shows me that He's there. There are times I really trust Him, never to regret, but when I forget He's faithful, He is faithful yet. It's okay to trust the Lord and see what He will do. It's okay to trust the Lord, for He will lead you through. It's okay to trust the Lord, for He will lead you Oh. 
how this next song, Never Once, ties in with the last song we sang, Day by Day. The Lord is with us, and because he is with us, we can face the daily trials with his strength. Never Once has meant a lot to me, especially looking back on hard times I've come through. Never once did we ever walk alone. Never once did you leave us on our own. You are faithful, God. You are faithful. This song is a celebration of faith that we can say never once did we ever walk alone because God has promised us that he will never leave us or forsake us. Standing on this mountain top, looking just how far we've come, knowing that for every step you were with us. Kneeling on this battleground, seeing just how much you've done, knowing every victory was your power in us. Scars and struggles on the way, but with joy our hearts can say, Yes, our hearts can say. Never once did we ever walk alone. Never once did you leave us on our own. You are faithful, God, you are faithful. Kneeling on this battleground, seeing just how much you've done, Knowing every victory was your power in us. Scars and struggles on the way, but with joy our hearts can say, Yes, our hearts can say. Never once did we ever walk alone. Never once did you leave us on our own. can say, never once did we ever walk alone, never once did you leave us on our own, you are faithful, God, you are faithful, evermore we are breathing So I just want to remind you that this program is all telling a story through the songs, that we're going somewhere with the theme um, of the various songs that we're bringing together. So we started with saying, this is holy ground in every place in our lives where God is, and that's everywhere for us believers, is holy ground. And we know God's with us. And God came down and became flesh. God took human form to show us uh, as the man of sorrows, the one who was acquainted with grief. He got it. He got, he got our sorrows and our joys here on earth. And we can have confidence in knowing that because he's experienced those things, he knows what it's like and he's with us through everything. Going on to, to the other songs, talking about the faithfulness of God in the rain and how we can trust him through anything. And all we need to do is follow where his voice is guiding. I want to be telling the story from Daniel 3 of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And this story is incredible because it's talking about three faithful men. And yet the story is not really about three faithful men so much as it is about one faithful God who shows up for the people in their hardest trial that they'd ever experienced, most likely. And he shows himself not just to them, 
but to the entire known world as the leaders of all the nations came and gathered to watch this statue. So listen to this, listen to this story, and I want you to be caught up in, in the glory of watching God show himself as the faithful God. Daniel chapter 3. King Nebuchadnezzar set up a gold statue on the plain of Dura in the province of Babylon that was nine feet wide and 90 feet tall. Then he sent messenger, messages to all of the satraps, prefects, governors, advisors, treasurers, justices, and magistrates, and all the provincial officials to come to the dedication of the statue he'd set up. So all of the peoples, all of the satraps, prefects, governors, advisors, treasurers, justices, and magistrates, and all the provincial officials gathered and stood before the statue King Nebuchadnezzar had set up. And then a herald shouted out to everyone, to you of every race, nation, or language, listen to what the king says. At the time you hear the sound of the horn, flute, zither, lyre, harp, pipes, and other musical instruments, fall to the ground and worship the gold statue that King Nebuchadnezzar has set up. Anyone who refuses to obey will be immediately thrown into a blazing furnace. So, at the time that the horn, flute, zither, lyre, harp, pipes, and other musical instruments sounded, everyone, regardless of their race or nation or language, fell to the ground and worshiped King Nebuchadnezzar's statue. Now, at this time, some of the astrologers came to the king and told on the Jews. They said, O king, live forever. You issued a command saying that all people, regardless of their race or nation or language, when they hear the sound of the horn, flute, zither, lyre, harp, pipes, and other musical instruments, must bow to the ground and worship the gold statue you set up. There are some Jews, O king, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, whom you set up over the province of Babylon itself. They pay no attention to your decrees. They don't listen to what you say, bow down to your gods, or worship the gold statue you set up. King Nebuchadnezzar was furious and commanded that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego be brought before him. And when they come before him, he addressed them like this. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, is it true that you refuse to serve my gods or bow down to the gold statue I've set up? I'll give you one more chance. When you hear the sound of the horn, flute, zither, lyre, harp, pipes, and other musical instruments, bow to the ground and worship the gold statue I've set up. Any, and if you refuse to obey, be sure that you will be thrown into the blazing furnace. And what kind of God's going to deliver you from my hand? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered the king like this. O king, we have no need to defend ourselves in this matter. The God whom we serve is able to deliver us out of your hand from the fiery furnace, and he will deliver you he will deliver us out of your hand. But even if he doesn't, we want to make it clear to you that we will never serve your gods or bow down to the gold statue you set up. King Nebuchadnezzar lost it. Tell my strongest men to come and, and bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and throw them in the fire and make the furnace seven times hotter than you've ever made it before. So kings... King Nebuchadnezzar's strongest men came and bound Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in their turbans, their pants, their robes, and their other garments. And because the king's order was urgent and the furnace was overheated, the soldiers who took Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to the fire died before the flames. And Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego fell bound into the roaring flames. Suddenly, King Nebuchadnezzar jumped to his feet in astonishment and said to his advisors, didn't we throw three men bound into the fire? His advisors answered him, well, yes, we certainly did. King Nebuchadnezzar said, but I see four men walking around in the fire, unharmed, unbound. And the fourth one looks like a son of a god. King Nebuchadnezzar walked as close as he could to the fire and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, come out and come here. So Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came out 
and all the satraps, prefects, governors, advisors, and treasurers gathered around to see if the fire had done anything to them. And what they discovered was not only had the fire not had any power over them, but their clothes were not burned, their hair wasn't singed, and there wasn't even the smell of smoke on their clothes. King Nebuchadnezzar said, Praise to the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who sent his angel to deliver Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who refused to listen to the king's command, but would rather die than worship any other god besides their own. I'm issuing a decree that anyone, regardless of their race or nation or language, that says a word against the god of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego will be torn in pieces and their houses will be made into a trash heap because no god can deliver it like this. What I love about this story is that here is these men gathered to be faithful to God no matter what. They didn't know the outcome. But God knew the outcome. God knew that he was going to be with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and that all the world was going to see that God is a faithful God. Now, in our lives, we're all facing various trials and things that we are working through that we need God to, to come and intervene, whether it's something like walking, whether it's something like delivering us from the fire or walking with us through it, and we die in the fire, so to speak. Whether it's, whether it's pain, through pain and suffering, or whether it's through a different sort of victory, we can trust that God is with us. And that's the point we want to keep making in this program. The next song we're going to sing is on this theme, and it is um, about the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. I think you're going to enjoy it as we uh, worship God in this. For the 
this world is not any friend to God. In his cross we have a share. But when the hour of trial comes and fire is all around, we'll find the place we're walking on is really Abednego at the fiery furnace were the children of Israel at the Red Sea. Maybe somebody today is um, facing something that looks impossible, and we want to encourage you with, with this song. seems to be no way. He works in ways we cannot see. He will make a way for me. He will be my guide. Hold me closely to his side. With love and strength for each new day, he will make a way. He will make a way. By a roadway in the wilderness, he'll lead me. Rivers in the desert will I see. Heaven and earth will fade, but his word will still remain. He will do something new today. God will make a way where there seems to be no way. He works in ways we cannot see. He will make a way for me. He will be my guide. Hold me closely to his side. With love and strength for each new day, he will make a way. seems to be no way. He works in ways we cannot see. He will make a way for me. He will be my guide. Hold me closely to his side. With love and strength for each new day, he will make a way. He will make a way. With love and strength each new day, he will make a way, he will make a way. Amen. That's right. Praise God. Okay. Let's sing this again. Second Peter 1, verses 3 and 4. His divine power has given us everything required for life and godliness 
through the knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and goodness. By these, he has given us very great and precious promises, so that through them you may share in the divine nature, escaping the corruption that is in the world because of evil desires. Our next song is on the theme of God's precious promises. God's word gives us incredible stability and rest when we bank our lives on what he has said. As verse two of our next song states, even when the howling storms of doubt and fear come, we can still walk in victory by fixing our gaze on Christ and his promises. The one who promised is faithful. Standing on the promises of Christ my King, through eternal ages let his praises ring. Glory in the highest I will shout and sing, standing on the promises of God. Standing on the promises that cannot fail, when the howling storms of doubt and fear assail. By the living word of God I shall prevail, standing on the promises of God. Standing on the promises, standing on the promises, standing on the promises of God my Savior. Standing on the promises, standing on the promises. I'm standing on the promises of God. Standing on the promises of Christ my Lord, bound to Him eternally by love's strong cord, overcoming daily with the Spirit's sword. Standing on the promises of God, standing on the promises I shall not fail, listening every moment to the Spirit's call. Resting in my Savior as my all in all, standing on the promises of God. Standing, standing on the promises, standing on the promises of God, my Savior. Standing on the promises, standing on the promises. I am standing on the promises of God. All right, the next song we are going to sing is Our God Reigns, and this is just this beautiful song bringing out, it's a beautiful song bringing out um, how Jesus in coming to earth as God in the flesh, like we've been talking about this whole program, you know, God being with us, God came down as Jesus in human flesh and sacrificed for us, died for us, rose again, showing that not only does he have the power to save us, but he has the love that he wants to save us. And he wants to be with us in everything. So this is just a celebration of the fact that our God reigns. So with the problems you're facing and the things you're working through, don't let yourself get down by those things, but instead focus on the facts that God, our God is reigning now. And so worship in your minds with us as we sing this song, Our God Reigns. Drawn to him, he was 
was despised, and we took no account of him. Yet now he reigns with the Most High. Our God reigns, our God reigns, our God reigns, our God reigns. It was our sin. and thunders, there's rainbows. It's an awesome place where Jesus is right now. And, and by faith, we're gonna sing about that and enter in. And uh, after this song, we're gonna invite you all to sing uh, with us a chorus. So you can be ready for that. Oh, 
mention of your name. Jesus, your name is power, breath and living water, such a marvelous mystery. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was by a friend of mine I noticed, my son told me, from way back in uh, Colorado when I lived there, Johnny Long. So thanks for watching, Johnny, and uh, great to hear from you. Did you find it in there? What number? 648.
secure from all alarms.
there was somebody in the audience? Well, I don't know about you, but I've been blessed tonight Amen. from the singing we heard from the Lloyd family here and the sharing. I really enjoyed the uh, stories that uh, you shared. God bless you all for uh, coming and sharing with us here tonight. So uh, I hope you've been blessed watching this and uh, listening in. And uh, I sure have. And let's, uh, let's close with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this opportunity of another day to serve you, Lord. And uh, we just pray for the Lord, Lloyd family here, and we thank you that they were willing to come and share their talents with us. And we pray that uh, their message would ring all across the globe, Lord. On the comments, I've seen people watching from Japan and Ontario, Canada. And Lord, we just pray that you would bless them for listening in. And as they sang the song, Our God Reigns, our God is alive, and that is so true. We know you are alive, God. Although things may seem to us out of control in this world, we know you are alive, Lord, and we know that you have a plan. So we just commit everything into your hands, and we just thank you again for this opportunity of serving you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.